for what they think I come. And I'm in a booth for RMGT. The R stands for Ryobi, but they don't say that anymore. And the reason I'm here is because I am with the only multicolor press at this show. We can just pan a little bit and show that this is a real printing press. I'm not making this up. Now, at Graph Expo, since the show started in 1972, and going back before that to 1968, there has never been a show that didn't have a number of multicolor presses. That was the big market. This is the first show ever, 2015, when there's only one company that had the guts to bring a press. And by the way, a very successful press. It's a five unit press, all the automation you want, and it's the kind of press that will let you replace several of the older models that you have and move into the future. Because you're still going to need offset. Even as digital grows, offset is still going to be a major part of what you do. And these presses, by the way, can expand significantly. They have all these little models here, and you can see that they can go to a very large uh, version of the press. So it's a very modular device and since they introduced it at this event a year ago, they've sold over 30 of them. So more power to RMGT for what they've done. Um, again, I would recommend this highly. Why am I doing that? Because no one else bought a press. Some of the other press manufacturers are here, but they don't have presses in their booth. Some of them have digital, by the way. One company from Germany that begins with an H is not even here. So what does this tell you about this industry? Someone has faith in it, it's this company, because they invested in bringing it to the show and to the industry. And by the way, that's why they've had crowds here throughout the show because now there is an alternative to those people who want to upgrade to the next level of offset. Now, it's not a 40-inch press, but it gets you into the marketplace in the really heart and soul of what cheat fed uh, offset is all about. So, in any case, R-M-G-T. That's the name you're going to remember. And this is Frank Romano for whatthethink.com.